Hey, what's up everyone? Alright, um, one of my subscribers had asked me to do a video on uh, tire tread and compounds. So I guess uh, you got to kind of take this lightly because it also has to suit your driving style, but to give you like a basic uh, idea on what type of tread to use for what type of track conditions, um, I guess I can give you guys that. Um, at least to my knowledge. Um, other people might have a little bit of a different way of choosing tires, but uh, I guess I can give you guys the basics or at least what I've been taught about it. Um, I guess to start, um, this is the Truggy. I just can't seem to make up my mind if I want the pipe polished or uh, brushed, so I went ahead last night and polished it. I think that's more due to boredom. But anyway, we'll get on to the tires. Um, I have four different samples here of tires for you guys. I'm sorry I can't remember the name of the YouTube uh, subscriber. I think it was Brett Perry that had asked me. But anyway, um, okay what I have here is a dirty, um, this is a Proline Blockade. Um, and this is a M3 compound which is medium. Okay the type of track condition and there's two different ways I guess to do it. You have to look at track temperature and track surface condition. Um, I guess your blockades um, is going to be for like a, a hard packed um, clay track. Um, it's a medium pin and a M3 compound which is like a like a soft, not a super soft but a soft. Um, soft would be for like higher track temperatures um, I would say above a hundred degrees um, and that's gonna, if you use too soft of a compound on high temperature track surfaces, it's really gonna, see what happens with rubber, the, the hotter you get the rubber, the softer it becomes. So if you use a super soft compound on a very hot track, it's just gonna tear the tire apart and it's probably not gonna work as efficiently because you're, you're basically tearing the tire apart before it has a chance to work. Um, so... Anytime you're on a hard packed clay track uh, dirt that uh, you, you want to use like a like a pin that is is a medium pin, not real low pin and not too high, um, just like a like a medium pin. You kind of got to look at it and and just see. Um, it, it's really hard to explain, so I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can. But you can see this tread pattern. Now, if I was going to, if the track temperature was going to be really hot, um, you would want to go to, or I'm sorry, a really cold track. Like, say you're going to, your main is going to be in the evening or just the day isn't that hot. You can go to an M4, which is really soft. Um, my next tire here is actually on my buggy. Um, these are a super soft M4 compound. These are Proline Tasers. And what you have here. If you can see the, the the longer lines in the center of the tread, that's for what we would call forward bite. Um, if you want a lot of that, there you go. If you if you have like an aggressive outside of the tire, um, that would be for side bite. And you kind of got to be careful of side bite because you can traction roll. So too much traction can be a bad thing, especially in corners. Um, so anyway, this is a very soft compound, and my main was run at night so the track temperature I think was only about 70 degrees and it was probably dropping from there these tires were actually the choice if you ask me to drive I mean this thing was like stuck to the track it was 100 percent perfect amount of traction um, for indoor you use a very small pin they're almost bald they look like wore out sets of tires um, and depending again on track temperature uh, and, and what type of traction you would want on an indoor surface even though it's dirt it's going to be really smooth and, and moist all the time and uh, so depending if you want forward bite or side bite you can see these have a lot of side bite if I can get this camera to focus right in here on the edge that's for side bite um, again you'd have to be really careful for traction roll you might have to take it easy in the turns this is a Panther um, Rattler 
and this is a Switch 2.0 by Panther. Um, you can see this has more forward bite and less side bite by the pins. These almost look like a, a worn out taser. They have a little more forward bite, the longer lines in the center. And on the side there's really nothing but just very small pins. So this tire here is probably going to do better in cornering for side bite. Uh, this tire here, depending on your driving style too, um, is going to have more forward bite so when you exit the corner and you want to punch the car you'll have better traction as to where this will spin a little bit more but you'll have better traction in the corners. Um, if you are running on a very dusty outdoor track, um, this is a Proline Caliber and this is an M3, I believe it's an M3 compound, I actually don't remember and the, the dot is gone. Um, <clears throat> what this is is for a very dusty, not loamy, but dusty track. Du uh, loamy is very loose dirt, dusty is hard packed with a lot of dust on top. You can see it's like a fuzzy tire is the best way I can explain it. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you'd use like a brush to brush dust away or something. That's kind of the purpose of this tire. Um, before the track grooves up, like if the track is fresh and there's no blue groove or whatever and there is a lot of dust, this tire will probably benefit you a little bit until it starts to groove up just because it's going to push a lot of that dust away. Now these are directional tires too. Two, way to, two ways to tell on the directional tire. Um, if you look right over here, it may not even focus, guys, but there is a little arrow telling you, there it is, the direction of rotation. Now, if you want more forward bite, you can actually turn this around and run it the other way. So like these, uh, I might not be able to get this to focus for you guys, but I'll try again. Um, the little V's in the middle, um, these are designed to actually, you know, rotate um, this way on the car. Now if you want more forward bite, you can simply put it on the other side of the car and the, those little V's will actually act like scoops. So it just depends on what type of traction you want. You can, you can spin them around and stuff. Um, and that's about my take on tires. If you guys have any other questions, um, so you can certainly ask me in the comments section. But that is basically how I choose my tires. I, I try to see what type of condition it is. And, and the other best way to do it is to kind of ask other people that run at that particular track all the time. They'll basically tell you what tires will work. And then you can go to the hobby shop and look at the tire that's working for them. And you can base your decision off that. You can get something something similar to it. Just kind of look at, um, uh, at the tread pattern of the tire they told you. And if it's a medium pin, you can go to the other medium pin tires and take a look and just see. Um, the only thing you got to look out for is if it's going to be, if you know it's going to be a hot day and the track temperature is going to be really hot. Um, if it's a hot track, you want to use a hard compound. If it's a cold track, you want to use a softer compound. So uh, the only other tire I don't have is for like a loamy condition, but those would be some really deep, wide lug tires. Um, they'd be kind of like like this but not as fuzzy they they'd be really really thick like a I think it's a a J Concepts Goosebump or something like that um they'll just have a you can tell that it's like kind of almost for like mud tires but not not as big as a lug it'll just be very gapped and uh um not knobby but just just more aggressive deeper lug um, and that's the best way I can really describe it. it it's kind of confusing to describe, I guess. Um, but like I said, if you ask somebody at the track and see what tire they're talking about, and then you can buy a couple other different sets just to see, you know, they kind of match the, the depth of the tread and the, and the style of the tread to see what's going to benefit your, your means better. So, um, I hope this helps out guys. And, uh, We'll talk to you guys soon. I appreciate everything. You guys have a good night, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.